Thanks for tuning in to our section on accessories for bed bug control. Uh, accessories can be used if you have an exterminator come in or you're doing it yourself. Now the accessories would be considered, it would be a little bit expensive in certain cases, but I tell you, bed bugs are not something you want and the more weapons you throw at them, the better chance you have to totally eliminate them. Now I'd like to start out with in our other video, we mentioned clutter and what to do with clutter. You can throw it out, you can isolate it, or you can treat it. Now, one of the best ways to treat it would be a product right here called Nuvon Strips. Nuvon Strips has got something called Vapona in it. It's a fumigant. And it comes in a, and if you look here, Robert, now this happens to be a big one. It's a 65 gram. Now most of our customers get the 16 gram. I just happen to have one open. Now you put it in a hanger. You take a storage bin, something like that. Some people use trash bags. I prefer storage bins. Now this is all clutter. If you can see here, we've got a little electronics. We have a picture frame, places that bed bugs can get. So we're going to put it all in here. We're going to throw the strip in there. We're going to tighten it up. Now, this particular storage bin doesn't seem to be airtight, so I'm going to take some duct tape, put it all around that. And we want about five days. Preferably, if you have a garage, you take it out in the garage and put it in. This would be suitable for a lot of things that can't be treated conventionally. Um, one of the biggest things we get asked about is laptop computers. And a lot of people keep a laptop on their bed. And uh, if you're concerned about bed bugs being in it, obviously you can't spray it. So the Nuvon strips are perfect for that. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Yep, absolutely. Uh, a couple of other things that we're real big on. Walt and I are um, uh, really, um, we're big proponents of using um, mattress encasements and box spring encasements. They're, they're, they're a really important part of, uh, of managing this bed bug problem. And uh, some, some of the things you can do here, um, there, there are mattress encasements that are full encasements that enclose the mattress and the box spring so the bed bugs can't get in or out. Um, this is the line that we carry here. Um, yes, mattress safe. They're 15 miles from us. So it's, uh, made, made here in the USA. Made in the USA. And uh, the nice thing about them, it's a lot different than the encasements you can get at Walmart. There's a plastic. These are breathable. You don't want, anytime you use a mattress encasement, you want something that's breathable. You don't want to uh, trap mold on there. This happens also, you might have a hard time seeing this, but it's got a locking mechanism. Most encasements do not have a locking mechanism. And, and if you're on the mattress, a lot of times these mattress encasements, you get the cheap ones that start, the, the, the zipper will start unraveling mm -hmm. and that's an entrance for the bed bugs. Now, if, if uh, price was a, a situation, I think the most important is the box springs. I, I think so too. The box spring is, it's hollow basically and it's nothing but a big hiding spot for bed bugs. So, I think if you're going to get one or the other, get the box spring encasement. It's, that's a, a, that takes away a huge area that bed bugs have to hide and uh, it just makes everything easier. Um, and if you can swing it, then the mattress cover would be you know, the other yeah. thing that can make this easier. There are a couple of different kinds of mattress covers. We've got the full encasements like this. We also have uh, uh, Active Guard makes a product that's, that's a thin membrane. New. This is new and this is, a, this is an elastic mattress cover that goes on. It's not a full encasement slips over like a fitted sheet and uh, this material is impregnated with permethrin, a very mild insecticide but plenty tough enough to kill bed bugs. Uh, you put I think they, they, they say three years it will work. It's really a good product for uh, preventative. Yeah, too. absolutely. If you have a, a, a home, a, a Businesses. men's home or uh, yeah, a dormitory. Yeah, exactly. Dormitories, like motels, a lot of people use these preventatively and uh, they're easy to put on and uh, you know they do a real good job and uh, these can be used on a mattress or the box springs mm -hmm. so good good thing you can do there and and why don't you show what our good friend Susan Knight made up I, I, I wish I invented <laughs> um, yeah we wouldn't be here doing this uh -uh. the uh, <laughs> you know the, the climb up interceptor is probably the the most well-known bed bug trap 
on the market. Mm -hmm. It's a good monitoring tool and a trap. Uh, it's basically a little tray that you can fit, and I'm going to try and show you. We don't have a bed here to show you, but this is a bed post that's sitting down in the tray. This basically gives you an area where bed bugs basically get in and can't get out. It's yeah, pretty they, simple. They can climb up the side because it's got some tape on it, so it gives them grip. They can fall into this little trough, and they can't get out. And they might be in that trough for days before they mm -hmm. die, so I'm warning you, there's no insecticide in here. It's a little bit of a powder. Talcum powder is yeah. in there. You can see it on the counter here, and uh, it's non-toxic, and uh, you can actually re-up those with a little talcum powder of your own. Works great. Mm -hmm. um, some of the other things we have, some other traps that are, that are really commonly used here, we've got a couple of different kinds. Uh, this is the BDS bed bug detection system, and uh, I like these traps a lot. They're very useful. Um, you peel the paper off of these and they're little, there's basically little stickers. This folds over and uh, creates a little trap that uh, when this is pushed together, this gives the, uh, a little edge for the bed bugs to go into. And uh, it's a perfect environment they, for them to hide. Keep in mind, bed bugs like to hide. They, they're, they're, in they're crevices. Shy. They're right. shy, except it's at nighttime they come out and bite you. So this is a nice little bed bug uh, trap. It's inexpensive and you can use it to, to monitor. The number that we get caught on here are typically not enough to make an impact on the population, but it's a good monitoring tool to see if you have bed bugs mm -hmm. or if you've been treating for them if you're on the, the road to recovery. Yeah, if, you, if you had an exterminator mm -hmm. treat your, your place and you want to just check mm -hmm. on them for about a month from now. Mm -hmm. Our other bed bug monitor that I really like a lot, I'm real big on this, this guy right here. It's a, uh, it's a hard plastic trap. It's clear plastic so you can see through it, see the bed bugs in it. Uh, there's a little ramp with an edge on it. The bed bugs can get right in there and climb in there. And what I really like about this hard design is this can be slipped pretty easily in between your mattress and box springs. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't get crushed like a lot of the other traps. And uh, so I think it's perfect for that. We've got these on the website as well. Yeah, I'd like to also point out, we, we don't have one to show you right now, but the, the, they make suitcase that actually heat up products. The heat heats about 130 degrees. And you can also use clutter into that. Of course, there's certain mm -hmm. things you would not want to heat up, but mm -hmm. uh, shoes and stuff like that, you can do right. that as well. Right. But the, as the market comes along, uh, there's always something new, and we're going to be forefront on providing it for you. And uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Don't rem Just remember, we do have an 800 number, and just give us a call. Thank you.